Welcome to the Purple Party known as Purple Nerd Channel, home for all those who geek out and all things Prince related. New Power Soul was released on June 20th, 1989, independently through MPG Records. The album peaked at number 22 on the Billboard Top 200 and number 9 on the R&B charts, selling just a little under 140,000 copies on its initial release. And you're probably asking yourself, why is this album under the Purple Family series and not under the Revisiting Prince album series? Well, I understand your confusion completely because even though Prince is the only person on the cover of this album, and he sings lead vocals on every single song, and he's the star of the two music videos from this album, this is actually a New Power Generation album and is credited to the New Power Generation. The previous New Power Generation albums did feature Prince, but it was more of like a background role or kind of behind the scenes role as he would write and produce all the songs and do background vocals and a lot of times play and act out different characters on the skits on the album. But this album was done completely different apparently. And as you may know, the New Power Generation as a group and a band has kind of had a revolving lineup of members over the years. And for this particular album, the iteration of the group that we get is Prince, Kirk Johnson, Rhonda Smith, Mr. Hayes, and Reverend Scott. Although several songs feature the Hornheads and vocals from Marva King with guest appearances from Larry Graham, Shaka Khan, and Dougie Fresh. There's actually been a lot of debate over the years as to whether or not this is actually a group effort or this is simply a Prince solo project that he credited to the New Power Generation. Prince promoted this project heavily with the promotional single The One sent to radio stations nationwide and its accompanying music video directed by Prince's then wife Maite. Look no further. Also for this album, he released the single Come On, which peaked at number 65 in the UK and had a music video as well, which featured Prince dressed up as an old man. Come on, it high. Come on, Prince wore this same costume at the 1998 GQ Awards. Further promotion came from the New Power Soul Tour and the New Power Soul Festival Tour, both tours featuring Shaka Khan and Larry Graham. Shaka Khan had made a huge comeback in 1984 doing a cover of Prince's song I Feel For You from his self-titled 1979 album. So when Prince heard that Shaka Khan was having issues with her record label as they had just recently shelved the album that she had been working on for quite a while, he invited her over to Paisley Park to start recording some new music free from the restraints of recording contracts. Prince met Larry Graham through their mutual friend, comedian Sinbad. Around the time of the recording of this album, Prince and Larry Graham kind of started their spiritual relationship as Larry had introduced Prince to the Jehovah's Witness faith. This introduction would change Prince's life drastically over the next several years. Exclusively through Prince's website 1-800-NewFunk.com, you could purchase the three CD set of New Power Generation's New Power Soul, Larry Graham's GCS 2000, and Shaka Khan's Come To My House. While promoting this project, all three artists would appear on the TV show Vibe, hosted by Sinbad. So let's get into the music of New Power Soul. We open up with New Power Soul. This party song introduces us to the bylaws of the movement known as New Power Soul. The message is love for one another, and please make sure you keep the party going with the best grooves possible. Portions of the lyrics from the song Big Fun are reused in the chorus of this song. Big Fun was featured on the New Power Generation album Exodus, released in 1995. Next is Mad Sex. On this song, Prince sees a former lover he used to fool around with, and she just happens to catch all the eyes of Prince's entourage. So Prince has to let them know that, yeah, I used to have mad sex with her back in the day, 
And really, that's all there was to the relationship. Next is Until You're In My Arms Again. Until you're in my arms again. This is a beautiful ballad featuring orchestration from Claire Fisher. And in the song, Prince is praying and hoping for his woman to return to his home safe and sound. Or some people actually think that this song is about Prince's infant son who unfortunately passed away after one week of living. And that one day in heaven, he will see his son again and embrace him. Next is When You Love Somebody. This upbeat love song has Prince explaining that from day one, he loved his woman, but she was the one that was constantly unsure of the relationship and was always stepping out on the relationship. While he was the one that stayed true, waiting for her to get her act together and come back to him. Next is Shooby Doo. This song is so raw lyrically as Prince is asking a young lady to re-examine her life as the never ending cycle of partying and sleeping around with multiple partners is getting her nowhere in life. Next is Push It Up. This positive song is all about not letting life get you down and always remembering to push through the bad times because there will eventually be good times and make sure you never quit on yourself. The song features Larry Graham and Marva King with Prince on vocals, as well as hip hop icon Dougie Fresh, whose verse on this song is actually from the unreleased Jam of the Year remix from 1997. Which, if you think it's bad that Prince is repurposing a Dougie Fresh verse from an unreleased song for this new song, Dougie Fresh had actually already used this verse prior to Jam of the Year on the song Tonight's the Night from the Get on the Bus soundtrack. Next is Freaks on This Side. The party keeps on moving with this one as the message is, you know, a little cryptic as Prince is asking everyone to embrace their inner voice that's keeping them out of the ways of the world as this new power that they feel keeps them moving in a different direction from everyone else, separating them from the mindless flock of sheep as he reminds you to be the freak that you are. Next is Come On. Come on, hey. Come on shake it now. This funky groove has Prince letting a beautiful woman know that the reason that she's always unhappy in her relationships is because she keeps on messing with these young men and she needs to go and find herself a grown man like himself or better yet Prince is actually telling her literally himself. Prince's vocals in the song have that Camille-like voice effect and uh, for a better reference go ahead and check out the Camille album video I did. Um, I will have a link to that video at the end of this video. Also, there is a longer version of this song that remains unreleased. Next is The One. This amazing ballad was recorded in 1996 with the purpose of being gifted to Maite for their wedding anniversary. This song is the centerpiece of this album and honestly shines above all the rest of the songs on this project. Prince's vocal performance is exhilarating with all the different ranges he can hit with perfection. And the message of the song is really simple and that is, I'm the man that's gonna make sure that you always feel like the queen you are. Next is I Like Funky Music. This is simply an epic party song with Prince using the aforementioned Camille voice and Dougie Fresh is back on this one being the MC he is known to be but this time around he has uh, an original verse. There is also a longer version of this song that still remains unreleased. Next we close out with Wasted Kisses. Why 
This song is actually track 49 on the CD as it is a hidden song. The song gives us a melody of an almost dark and hopeless kind of groove as it is a bitter love song and I actually really dig this one. The song comes from a place of regret as if Prince is singing about stepping out on his wife with a one night stand and now he's questioning why he did it as the guilt has really overcome him. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Please like and share this video. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. And if you get a moment, go ahead and check out my Patreon page. I will have a link to that in the description below with all of my other social media platforms that I appear on. I will see you on the next episode where I talk about an unreleased Prince album. And until the next episode, I wish you heaven.